Hello Autodesk people and welcome back to this video series on tips and tricks for Revit 2017 and the fabrication parts. The last video we were discussing on how to best handle uh, adding insulation to piping or ductwork and as you can see on screen here we've, we've done some ductwork that has insulation and some that doesn't. So now that you've seen how we can do that let's discuss how we can um, manipulate things like hangers, right? So when you're dealing with um, ductwork and you have a hanger, uh, what we're finding is that the hanger specification automatically upsizes when you add um, when you add insulation. And we don't want sometimes we don't want that behavior to happen. Sometimes we don't want it to automatically upsize um, when when we add insulation, for instance. So let's take a look at how we can manage that. And that's typically, that, that's an option that's set up within the service and the installation specification. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to modify uh, the service or the database. Uh, in this case, we're gonna have to modify the database to get that to stop happening. So I wanna show you the example first of what's happening. Then we're going to modify the service and then I'll show you how uh, it works once it's been modified. Okay, all right, so let's get into that. Let's get started, and um, first of all, again, Revit doesn't have the capability to modify services. We can only use the parts that are within each service. If we have to modify the service or the database, we have to do that in a different product, the one of the main fabrication products. Now, the last time I did this in the earlier video here uh, with this, the installation, I actually did it in CamDuct. Now you don't have to have CamDuct, you can use Estimation, the EstMEP product, or you can use our detailing product, Fabrication CAD MEP. Um, I'm, this time I'm going to use Fabrication CAD MEP, and I'll show you how we can modify the database. Let me go ahead and launch Fabrication CAD MEP. I must have misspelled it. There we go. All right. So while that launches, um, I'm going ahead and I'm going to pause the video while that gets launched. Oh, but before I do that, I want to make sure that uh, I show you the current behavior as to what's happening in the Revit environments. Let me switch back to Revit. All right. In Revit, let's uh, let me go back to a plan view real quick here, and um, let me draw let me draw some. I guess round ductwork would be fine. So let's just go ahead and draw some ductwork here at uh, like eight feet, um, and let's make that uh, a larger diameter size here. <clears throat> oh, oops! Looks like I canceled out of it. All right, let's um, let's grab some ductwork. Let's uh, I don't know. Let's do. 14 inch ductwork. And let's add an elbow, uh, 90 degree band here, and um, another piece of ductwork. I'm a big fan of using the Create Similar. And what that does is it kind of launches that command again at whatever size that you currently had set, right? So let's add some, uh, let's add some hangers here. So let's do round duct hanger, and we'll place one here one close to the elbow, another one close to the elbow, and one at the end. So we're fully supporting this. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that in 3D real quick. And I think what we want to do is we just want to watch what happens when I change the insulation. So I'll go ahead and hit this particular duct and change it to a uh, lagging two inch. And what you'll notice is that that hanger upsized automatically according to uh, that insulation specification. So it's a two inch thermal lagging and it's going all the way around so it's actually upsizing that hanger by four inches, right? Because there's two sides to that two inch lagging. So it went from a 14 inch diameter hanger to an 18 inch diameter hanger. So sometimes that's not desired behavior because what what uh, what will happen in in the field is they may not put the insulation around the hanger, uh, right? So how do we how do we uh, 
get the hanger to stop obeying that. So let's go back to Fabrication Academy P. Let's go look at the database and see how we can manipulate that. So here's Fabrication Academy P. Um, and if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of hard to see on my resolution here. I've got some crazy resolution. It's this button right over here on the toolbar that looks like an open book. So I'll go ahead and hit the database button. And what you want to get to is, first of all, you want to go to the fittings tab and then get down under the insulation specifications. You want to get down to insulation option. Now from here, you will look at that specific thermal lagging and you can hit here uh, the properties, all right? So we're looking at fittings, insulation, thermal lagging, and then click on the properties. And here there's this property that we wanna turn off. It is called adjust support size and it's currently turned on. If I turn that off and hit okay, I'll get prompted, do you want the thermal lagging has been modified? Do you want to increment its version number? So what that means is right now it says v version four and if I hit yes, you'll see that the new version number is five and you can enter a reason for change. This way you can track the, uh, you know, the method or why these things have been changed. So in that case, I'm just gonna hit okay and then um, you can see that it's upped to version five. Now again, I've already affected the database. It's, it's already been changed. And in Revit, all I'll have to do is go ahead and um, load that information. So let's go ahead and turn this off, this installation specification, let's turn that off. And let's reload that configuration and it'll look at the current database settings and, um, and it'll respond to the database, the database settings automatically. So I'll reload the configuration and I'll hit OK. And um, all of my uh, ductwork is now obeying that, uh, that option that has been unchecked. So if I go and do it one more time to ductwork two inch lagging, you will see that the hanger did not get upsized, but it does have that, uh, that insulation around it. So again, it's uh, in review here, you can't modify the database settings or the services inside of the Revit environment. You just can't do that, not yet. I'm expecting that at some point we would be able to do that, all of that inside of the Revit environment, but um, at this point, the 2017, the 2017 release and working with the fabrication parts, if you need to modify the, the services or the database, you need to get to one of the Autodesk fabrication products to do that. Um, and once you've done that, you just reload that configuration inside of the Revit environment. Okay, so hopefully that answers how do I get the hanger to stop uh, upsizing automatically when you change the insulation specification. Um, stay tuned for another topic in this continuation of the video series on tips and tricks on Revit fabrication parts inside of the Rev 2017 uh, environment. And we'll see you on the next video.